So welcome Kai Hattendorf, uh, CEO of UFI. Great to see you here bright and early at the last day of the trade show at IMAX. What are your impressions of the show this year? You know, I always come into a, a, a hall and the first thing I do is I listen. If there's a buzz, yes. if there's excitement. And you came in here day one, day two, and there was a bus. Yes. And that's always the best sign. People are here, everybody's here, everybody's eager to meet, and you hear the noise building as we speak. Yes. So it's going to be a good last day. Fantastic. And the theme, of course, is impact. Uh, have you felt impact from any of the sessions you've attended and been speaking at? You know, it's, it's, it's so much happening on the content side, right? I think the biggest impact of this show is, as always, that it brings the industry together. Yes. And you can have candid conversations. You, you keep each other updated on developments and what's happening. So the biggest impact really is the conversations we are having that drive the industry forward. And then on the, on the bigger scale of, of the theme of impact at IMAX, it's the role that events play for the development of destinations, of cities, of businesses, of industries. And it's a big legacy conversation we are having across the whole events industry to capture that legacy. I mean, as you know, it's easy for us trade show people. There's a buyer, there's a seller, there's an impact. It's, it's, a, it's a harder to measure this on the intellectual side for conferences. And that's what a lot of the conversation has been about. And would you agree it's very gratifying and interesting to see the studies emerging? Yesterday, I was on the Australia stand and they presented a, a big study exactly on legacy. And they're not the only ones, of course. So it certainly seems to me as if the whole industry is getting behind that. Would you agree? Yes, you're, you're, you're having a point there. It is a conversation we are having and we are aligning how we want to capture these legacies. It's difficult to put that into numbers and data, so it's going to be qualitative. We're going to have case studies, case studies, case studies, case studies. Now, UFI has been working with the OECD in a, in a multi-year project mm -hmm. to define how to measure legacies of global events, business events, sports events, cultural events. and we pass policy recommendations that are on all the government's tables now, basically saying the legacy measurement will be on a case-by-case -case base for the next five to 10 years. So it's great to see everybody in the industry buying into that, tracking the legacy, building this, case, this library of case studies. It'll allow us in a few years to see if we can define metrics. So we are laying the foundations by capturing the essence of what we achieve to be able to track that in a few years. And I know, Kai, that you've put in a lot of work uh, with European politicians. How would, how would you say they are receiving these messages? And uh, you know, are you feeling some effects from them coming back to our side? Uh, we, we just had this day of EU dialogue in Brussels. Yes. And um, you now we've done these on the exhibition side uh, regularly before the pandemic, but to have not just a seat at the table, but to fill a room with tables yes. and bring the policymakers in yes. to have a dialogue with the industry, I got yes. goosebumps talking about <laughs> it always still, was a game changer. Yes. We now have an audience, we have their attention. After the European election, we will have a policy paper, what we expect from the new European Commission. Yes. And kudos to everyone who was involved in that. There was the EIA, Barbara Weizsäcker, there was Visit Brussels, yes. it was uh, City DNA, Flavi, it was the Joint Meetings Industry Council. Yes which comes to show that when we unite, yes. we can move mountains. Thank you. And I think this year more than ever, you mentioned European elections, but we also have elections in the US, as you know, and UK and India. So it's very important that we keep talking to the politicians, that's for sure. Um, as we're sitting across the, the, the aisle here from IAEE, tell us about the memorandum you signed recently and the thinking behind it and what your joint goals are with them. Oh, you know, that, that's, that's, that's an easy one. Uh, UFI, not me luckily, but UFI is turning 100 next year, yes. right? So, and, and, and if there's one golden rule in UFI or one strand of DNA that defines UFI, it's collaboration. Yes. It is working together to make the industry better. Yes. And IE is one of those partners where that has been a bit difficult in, in the last years yes. for whatever reason. So uh, we're taking a fresh start. Yes. We're talking to each other no more, no less, right now, no, no. to figure out what it is we can do together. Yes. Um, there's, there's lots of overlapping interests, right? Um, there's, there's so much we can do if we agree to, to collaborate. Yes. And uh, when we're done talking, I will go over and 
continue that conversation. Great. Well, time, I hope, for my last question is what's in store with UFI? What's coming up on the agenda, on the diary? What are your key aims for the rest of this year? Now, Paul, you and I will meet again in Zurich in a few weeks uh, at the European conference. It's always our biggest European event of the year, but not this year because the Global Congress comes to Europe yes. and we'll be in Cologne in November. Uh, so we've had our regional events in Macau. We went to Kigali recently. Yes. We'll be in Monterey, Mexico, bringing North and Central South America together. Yes. That will be fascinating. Look at the development of Chinese-Mexican trade and, and into NAFTA. We're going to have a strong group from China in Mexico looking to connect with North Americans, Central South yes. Americans. That's going to be a bummer. Right? There's more research coming, watch out for the next barometer. Education is growing and advocacy. Hey, June 5th, Global Exhibition Day. Yes. Fantastic. Thanks for your time, Kai. Thank That's you. great.